welcome to this hypnotherapy session. In this session, you will be given suggestions to travel through time, unlock your essential memories, and access your subconsciousness. Find a place where no one and nothing will disturb you. All you need to do now is sit down and relax. Find a posture that makes you feel comfortable. Now focus on my voice. You can close your eyes if you want. The choice is yours. Allow your entire body to loosen. Now take three deep breaths on my call. Breathing in, expanding your lungs, fill them with air, hold it for a second, and slowly breathe out through your mouth. Get all of the air out of your lungs. Good. One more deep breath in. Hold it and exhale. And one more deep breath in. Feel the air filling your chest and breathe out. Take your time for this breath. Now breathe at your own pace. With your chest rising and falling, so rhythmic, allow you to relax deeper and deeper. Just take time to focus on your breathing. Allows you to relax. Notice that you are more relaxed now than you were a few moments ago, and you will continue to relax more and more. As you just focus on your breathing, your body is at ease, and your mind is at ease. Now let's take a journey. This journey will involve all of your senses and will further relax you. Imagine you are a flower, a flower in an open field on a lovely early summer morning. It is a sunny day. The sky is blue and bright. A few fluffy white clouds flow by, casting shadows over the field from time to time. You can hear the birds sing their lovely songs on the nearby trees. Imagine how they twitter. Feel the sunlight on your body. Just let yourself be wrapped in the warmth. You open up yourself a little further in order to catch more sunlight. What a lovely sensation! You sway gently with the breeze. Feel the movement. There is a sweet, refreshing scent steaming from the glass, and all the summer flowers around you. You recognize the scents of lavenders, rosemarys, and orange blossoms. It had rained earlier in the morning. A raindrop still lingers on your paddles. You feel the moisture of soil beneath you. It is soft and cool. Your roots extract water from the ground. Imagine how the water travels upward through your stem to your whole body. Water molecules transport from cell to cell. 
they will feel your roots and travel up to your stem, up, up, onto your leaves, petals, together with the sunlight, you photosynthesis, you are full of energy, you feel abundance, there is life force inside of you. A flower is the sex organ of a plant. In full blossom, you are ready to reproduce. Your petals out of beautiful colors and your nectar releases a sweet scent which attracts butterflies to dance around your stamen, carrying your pollen to fertilize you or other flowers. Life passes on. Now imagine you are a pollen on a butterfly. When the butterfly takes off, it carries you with it high up in the sky. In the mid-air, you are dropped off from the butterfly. You drift and flow in the air. Beneath you is the glass field. In a moment, I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. With each number I count, you will slowly descend. And when I reach number one, you will land softly and safely on the glass floor. Starting from number ten. Flowing, flowing, high in the air you flow. Nine, flow and flow, you are weightless as you relax deeper and deeper. Eight. Notice the sunlight still shining gently as you slowly descend. Seven, you go lower, lower, closer to the ground. Six, still flowing in the air, down, down. Five, swaying gently in the air. The glass wheel is now a little bit closer. Four. Almost there. Keep falling. Slowly. A little by little. Three. Down. Down. Deeper and deeper. Two. Almost on the ground ever so gently and as I count to the next number you will land safely and be completely relaxed one be there Remember you were once an opium poppy in the late 18th century India. The existence of your species predates written history, but you prosper because of human domestication. and manufactured. You are a flower, but you are so much more. You are the major colonial commodity. You 
a world go and silver and silver You cracked open the east open the east open the east open the east There would be wars there would be wars In another lifetime, you were a rhododendron flower in a subtropical island in Southeast Asia. Legend says that your petals were tinted red by cuckoo birds. Cuckoo birds caught up blood by singing too many sad songs. Sad songs. Sad songs. You remember, it was April 1922. The whole mountains along the coastline, rhododendron flowers were in full bloom. In full bloom. A crown prince named Edward, from afar, arrived on the island with a mighty ship, mighty ship, mighty ship, mighty ship. He had been to his empire's colonies on the same trip, trip, trip. Once he alighted, he was carried by eight locals on a sedan chair to inspect his overseas territories. Their inspection went on for three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. For three days and three nights, there were non-stop banquets, visits, and ceremonies. 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 And it wore him out. Wore him out. Fourteen years later, the prince became a king. A king. A king. At the same year, he abdicated. 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 Because of love, he said. Love, he said. But maybe he's just tired of it. Sixty-one years later, the empire lost its last colony, the island that you inhabit. Inhabit. You remember on the last day of his visit, a new role was named after the crown prince, and so as the metro station builds later on. Your species predates and outlive written history. Now you are grown by batch and bought by mourners. You are the sigh of remembrance. All that are gone will continue to be as long as memory exists. Forget, forget, do not lose, do not do not forget, forget, do not lose, All that are gone will continue to be as 
long as memory exists. Do not forget. Do not lose. just a few moments, you are going to come back up at the count of three. When I bring you back up, you are going to feel comfortable. You are going to feel relaxed. You are going to feel as though you have had a very peaceful nap. And even after you are out of hypnosis, Understand that your subconscious mind will act on every word of this session. One, you are beginning to become aware of your surroundings, feeling very good, filled with energy, rested, feeling as though you just had a peaceful nap. Two, you are now becoming more awake. You are even more aware of your surroundings, beginning to move now, beginning to stir and you are totally at ease. 3. Eyes wide open. You are now fully awake and completely refreshed, feeling wonderful 